Hello, it's me, Tom Cosgrove again. All of engineering begins with some human need, a problem that needs to be solved. So, in Civil at UL, our design process begins with a problem. On the very first day of first year, our students are introduced to the whole design process and invited to take on the responsible role of a civil engineer. The problem could involve a building structure or a water supply or transport need, not too complex to begin with. The students begin working in small teams, developing a solution step by step, each contributing their own ideas, guided at each stage by the tutor, right up to the final build stage. The class gathers, and each team presents and tests their finished design. This process repeats, gradually taking on more and more complex problems as students' knowledge and confidence builds. In second year, <coughs> for example, the students are challenged to imagine, design, and then make a full-scale siege device then transport it to King John's Castle in Limerick City on a given day and besiege the castle. Groups of four to six are formed and brainstorming begins. Everybody is given space to contribute in their own way. There are no wrong answers or forbidden ideas. Gaps in knowledge are gradually identified with the tutor's guidance. These are developed into more precise questions by the end of the session each group member then researches each question for the next meeting. All knowledge discovered during the research period is shared, discussed, organized, and then the process repeats. Design options gradually emerge. They're weighed up, what's good, not so good, and why. The tutor challenges students step by step to become more and more precise in their ideas and decisions. Engineering knowledge gained from lectures is applied when required. Material tests are carried out if required to complete a safe design. A rich variety of solutions emerges and these are discussed and debated by the whole class. Students jealously defend their design ideas and gradually the options are whittled down in a short list design solutions is finalized. The details and dimensions are worked out and drawn. The site is visited and examined. Calculations are completed and then materials are cut and the assembly begins. Designs are tweaked as last minute hitches become apparent. Health and safety aspects are discussed in depth and the transport and erection sequence is carefully worked out build day arrives. An early start, tension is high, excitement builds on site. Curious onlookers stop and inquire. The erection process begins. Then success. And the disassembly and careful work. And a well-deserved rest after a long day. Two days later, a reflection session on lessons learned and then individual presentations with posters complete the whole project. All of this practical work forms the main element of the learning and is used for assessment. A selection of topics are tested at semester end in a conventional exam to complete the process. And that is how students at Civil at UL learn to be professional engineers.